Hello again, my dear viewers. This video is not dedicated to fighting actions. Rather, it is dedicated to fighting actions that has no overview of the current events in Ukraine. This is rather an overview of a very interesting and a very strange event which took part in my hometown. My own child asked me, What's going on, Dad? Is the Russian army really shelling the peaceful town for no reason? Let me remind you that today afternoon, the town of Sumy was attacked by some strange shelling. Several strange ammunitions arrived in several different parts of the town. These parts are Veritenovka, Belopoiskoya, Anovka, and who knows, the town of Sumy also knows that this is one residential area of the town. But the Ukrainian mass media, also local social media, presented this as a hail shelling by the Russian army. Hail shelling of the peaceful town of Sumy. However, from a military standpoint, there is no point for Russian soldiers to shoot there. But the most strangest thing is not about that. Please have a look at a picture which was published by a witness of this event. This is a fragment from a 120mm mortar shell mine. Please have a look. However, from a military standpoint, there is no point for Russian soldiers to shoot there. But the most strangest thing is not about that. Please have a look at a picture which was published by a witness of this event. This is a shank from the 120mm mortar shell mine. That is to say, from the backyard of the apartment building where the said mortar shell hit. And now ask yourself. The war has been going on for three days and has anyone noticed that the Russian military used any mortar shell? Especially if we have a look at how the social media fans hysteria in relation to shelling of the peaceful town of Sumy. Let's also remember in Donbass, so-called wandering mortars were applied. It is when the truck goes through a city, stops to throw mines and go further. And now again, let's have a look at this residential area. This is almost my home area. I live at Kurskaya Street. I know this area like the back of my hand. And if someone puts a 120mm mortar shell, either on a wandering frame or stationary mortar shell, somewhere there, in track, no one would notice it actually. Except for those who are close to this place. But no one is close to this place as everyone is afraid. This time of the year, no one goes to track. And taking into consideration the effect all these events had on locals, I have a question. Couldn't it be a provocation in order to turn Sumi locals against the Russian military? Because it seems too good to be true. I'm saying it again. The Russian military was not seen as applying any mortar shells, though this could be a very convenient weapon for provocation. It is easy to hide, easy to transport, and easy to be used in provocations, especially when traces of this provocation can be noticed by the locals. I appeal to the people of my hometown. Today we have a lot of fake videos, too much of those who are willing to quarrel with us so that we would fight until the end of our days. And this technological method is evidenced and was applied in Donbass by Ukrainian nationalists. And these nationalists are now holding my hometown. And as my relatives who live in Sumi told me, this was exactly at the time when the air raid siren was announced. That is to say, firstly, an air raid siren has been announced, declaring that the Russian army will launch a rocket barrage. However, no rocket barrage has been evidenced. There was no rocket barrage in Sumi, but as we see, according to evidence, there was a mortar shell. The point is that the air raid siren was announced by the headquarters of civil defense of the territorial defense of the town of Sumi. And everything fits together. Someone who has connections with the territorial defense organized this all intentionally. And I believe that this is made by those who think that citizens of Sumi do not actively support the forces against the Russian army. And they do their best and use the methods they use in Donbass in order to irritate the Ukrainians and in this case, irritate people from my hometown. 